All right, I am calling all of you to order. Yeah, yes, hello, rabble. Uh, yes, rabble, 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 rabble. Rhubarb, watermelon, rhubarb. Mm-hmm. Walla, walla, walla. I would like some orange chicken with white rice. And do you guys have good egg rolls, or are they just sort of like the generic ones that you can get? Like anywhere? all of our egg rolls are very good. No, they're absolute shit. <laughs> hey, wait, don't listen to them. They work at Taco Bell. They come here to harass us. You know, that's that's a valid thing. Back when I worked at McDonald's, I would always just go and take my lunch break at Taco Bell. And it was like, yeah, nothing says that this McDonald's is better than a person leaving in a McDonald's uniform to go to Taco Bell instead of eating their free McDonald's meal. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you can only have so many hash browns, which that and the apple pie, the only good things that... McDonald's. Oh, it was back when you couldn't get hash browns all <sighs> times of the day. So Ooh. it was like, oh, I have to Absolutely. get the lunch. And that was also when Taco Bell was doing like the weird bistro tacos. Ooh. Oh. Remember back when like Taco Bell used to have a menu? Gordita crunches. Cheesy gordita crunches. With potatoes. The Mexican <laughs> pizza. Uh, <laughs> this is physical damage to me. <laughs> <laughs> Taco Bell, we're here interrupting our normally scheduled opening bit to say bring back your full menu bring back the dreams of the 90s at least the potatoes also remember back in the day when it was 10 for 10 10 soft shells or 10 hard shells for 10 bring back the full menu and also why can't i find a taco bell that isn't also a kfc fucking stop <laughs> stop that. kfc potatoes or mac and cheese i can go for some of that yeah fucking mm. live moss taco bell and KFC, <laughs> bring back your potato wedges. I appreciate yeah. you trying something new with your fries. Go-go's. No, no, disagree. Disagree. Hold on. Oh, <laughs> Breaking away. Oh, shit. The original recipe fries are good. <laughs> and the potato wedges should stay dead. You know what they should do? Cut off the potato wedges and then wrap it in the batter around the fried chicken and then fry it up like the, oh. uh, the Korean hot dogs that have the potato oh. cubes on the outside, but like with fried God. chicken. Beautiful. Yeah. That but sounds seriously, What the fuck? Uh... Everybody just give their favorite type of French fry from fast food. I'm a Rally's man. I like a Rally's fry. Fast food or any? Can I do a diner? No, because that's not relatable. Because Earl's a diner's that, that, that cheating. Feels though. like cheating. Earl's yeah. yeah. York, with shoestring yeah. potatoes. Oh, so yeah. I'm gonna go with curly fries from Wendy's. Season curly fries from Ar- Arby's. Arby's. Arby's fucking yes. curly fries rule. What? Wendy's square burgers, Arby's curly fries. That's what it is. It's a perfect combo. Yeah. yeah, like if I if I can't pick cookout, I'm gonna pick those. Oh no, cookout is valid. Once I learned to cook for myself, I stopped going. Yeah, not not to out myself as, as from North Carolina, but <laughs> come on and raise up. If for whatever reason you find yourself up in uh, up in my side of Canada, uh, crave burgers, fucking Parmesan fries, mm, tasty. Oh, the counter is technically a chain, and they had these, like, very thin, like, Parmesan garlic aioli fries with, like, fresh, like, pressed garlic on them. And they made them, like, a, like a pyramid. It was so good. Ooh. Yeah, but is it fast food? <laughs> yeah. Pretty, pretty fast food. It was food. a yeah. burger place. Oh. And it was a chain. Uh, taste-wise, I'm going to go with Wendy's. But, like, for the fry experience, Five Guys, because they always... Always overload you with that shit. I wouldn't consider Five Guys fast food. They do not typically oh, have drive throughs They do. It is not oh, a they're staple. They're absolutely fast food. Yeah, they have. Uh, I've been, I, I had they're, Five Guys You get your food so quick in those places. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Outside of like if they exist in a mall or an airport, would you be concerned if a McDonald's or a Wendy's did not have drive through No, because I live in Seattle. <laughs> so. No, because I don't own a car. <laughs> That's a non-question. All right, all right. Well, that's enough. Let's get back to daddy issues.
does encapsulate our podcast, huh? <laughs> 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 the, the cheese on them? Oh, God. Oh, no. Yeah. Seriously, though. I'm thinking about it now. Rally's fries, massively underrated. But also, Koyos, your dad has appeared. I don't think he's seen you yet. If we didn't introduce ourselves. I hide back down. I, I just... No, I, I just I was behind you on the stairs. Yeah, I yeah. just turn around and go back down. <laughs> so, current, current, well, you guys are in there. Dodger's currently explaining, like, what happened with, uh with Diego and how this is a hot mess and like I don't think I'm gonna be uh, chasing that anymore. It's a terrible idea. Everything's terrible. I'm trying to stop <laughs> Koyos from going downstairs. So, no, no, we must face our new experiences together. No, no, you don't understand. I am in so much trouble. Think, Koyos? I'm just making my way back to the back of the room to try and dig my way out of the fucking place I, again. <laughs> I say loudly, uh, Koyos, stop this right now. <laughs> Loud enough for someone Koyos! <laughs> Not here! I'm Luke, your game master. I'm <laughs> voicing these people. <laughs> I'm Eric. I play Oi, the punk drow monk. He, him, for everything. And he's currently looking for his ghost friend because, I don't know, he seems to get along with Dodger. Maybe he can help him. And I'm confused with this bit, but I guess I played Dominion Drexel. <laughs> we forgot to do introductions, so we're just doing a cold I thought we open. were going to do introductions. Just, uh, just imagine, like, it's freeze-framing with the, with the text <laughs> over everyone. That's all you gotta do. Exactly. Every, everybody gets to do a Saved by the Bell. I play Navendia Drexel. They're a sorcerer bard and trying to help their friends stop being so destructive. Self-destructive. I'm Sam. I play uh, Gear, the Danny Warforged Warlock, who is just standing in stunned silence and trying to remember that just because they can smell things doesn't mean that they have anything to throw up. <laughs> I'm Dodger. I'm uh, oh, sorry. I'm Sony. I play Dodger. I'm covered in shit. He him. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm Madison Rowan. I play Koyos, who's in so much fucking trouble. <laughs> Dad's here and he's gonna be so mad. <laughs> he him. Also, he's a lizard man druid. <laughs> More importantly, he's in trouble. Less importantly, lizard man druid. <laughs> lizard man, lizard man in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> you should kiss more, Dodger. <laughs> Maybe I. It's just, but I is is that like I don't know. I just don't think that I, he should be the one that I'm kissing. Is he sexy? Yeah, but I don't know if we're compatible as people. Kier is currently fuming because the smell is so bad that he can't contribute anything <laughs> to the discussion about Tasha's first kiss. Literally fuming like shoots of steam are coming mm -hmm. off in places. Every time I try to open my mouth, I gag. <laughs> and nobody is recognizing the lizard in the room. It's gross. Outside the room. Yes. <laughs> yes. Koyos. Hey, Koyos. We have to go upstairs. Our friends are in some sort of, from what's drifting down the stairs, olfactory trouble. Lavinia, <laughs> <laughs> no, I... I can't go see my dad, not right now! Quios, what's more important? You might get in trouble, or that your friends are in danger. I mean, he would probably eat my friends. You have to choose on your own. I'm not going to force you. But I'm going upstairs to meet your father and hopefully hear his small sketches of when you were a baby. And if you don't stop me, I'm getting copies of those sketches. <laughs> I start going upstairs. Uh, uh, I still love you no matter what you do. I, I, I just, once again, to the dogs, just like, stay, stay, stay here, stay, stay here. Oh, and and I, I follow up, like, just be like, wait, but I mean, we could just stay down here forever. No, we I'm just imagining this as, like, Koyos walking up the stairs like a normal alligator does. Yeah, just, like, crawling up. <laughs> like a cat when you have a visitor. We could just stay down here in uh, Oi's basement and, and eat all the mushrooms that are probably great and not have to talk to Dad. Koyos. Whoa, do you know Koyos? <sighs> Yes. Oh, cool. 
Hello, Father of Coils. Welcome to the outside of our little establishment. I'm a daddy again? Uh, Wait, that's Coyos' dad? I kind of just like, like I am still crawling on the ground at this point, like right towards (laughs) the the door being like, try to like poke out but not be seen at all. (laughs) Oh, the problem is you are at the exact eye level with your dad. Uh, (laughs) His head's against the door. It's Flat Fuck Friday. <laughs> TGIF. I, gotta get down on Flat Fuck Friday. I, I wish to become flatter. <laughs> flattening, flattening, yeah. Hi, Dad. Can I get you a trough of water or wine? Oh, that makes a lot of sense, actually. I am happy to see my son. Ray. <laughs> the venue like goes next to Kier and starts prestidigitating like the poop away just like as nonchalantly as she can just like a foot at a time <laughs> and that is when the big lizard is going to try and get through the door <gasps> very aggressively <gasps> even though uh, it would be about three doors wide uh... he's trying to do this and that's when I finally like stop being flat on the ground and I'm just like wait wait hold I maybe let's uh, out, outside, have conversation there. Yes. Wait, are you gonna get this big, Cleos? What? Can you get this big? You can't just ask someone how big they're gonna get. <laughs> Inflation! <laughs> <laughs> Attitude the fattest list. <laughs> Excuse me, this would be macro. <laughs> hey, listen. Okay. Oh, so I'm sorry. Hold on. Let me let me correct the list. <laughs> Continue. Yeah, I haven't invented bike pumps yet. We'll get to inflation. I go downstairs and play with the dogs. <sighs> <laughs> we are destroying this. I'm so distressed. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Maybe any. Anyway, out. Let uh. <laughs> Here with his no- face and his shirt, like, oh, they start so small and so cute, but before you know it. <laughs> they should go outside and have a nice talk. And I'm just like finishing up with Dodger, and I look at Oi, and I just roll my sleeves up a little bit and start again. You have had an adventure, friends? Koyos. Yeah, we found him in the sewers. Coyos were in the sewers? No, you were. I was. Why were you? Looking for you. Oh. I, I, yeah, uh, am here. (laughs) And not in the sewer. Are you happy? I'm having fun, yes, with my friends. Don't eat them, please. Wave. Hello. Are you eating? Yes. Not them. Do you need thing? Uh, no. Good. Good, yes. Very good. Um. Ask him how long he's in town. How long are you staying here and not in the swamp? I leave now. Oh, okay. If you ever want to visit, here's our card. And then it takes out like a postcard size version of the business card. <laughs> mm-hmm. Because there are like giants and stuff. So there's there's precedent for larger creatures. Mm-hmm. And just like, he's not wearing clothes. So just like sticks it in a, a lump of like moss or something on a part of his leg. Like one of those tiny white birds that will float on the backs of alligators yeah. and crocodiles and clean them, like, takes the card from you and just files it away in a briefcase that the bird has. <laughs> I t- I t- okay. Oh, yes, my bird, the bo- bird lawyer. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That we all have. Yeah, this. Cornelius Featherbottom. It's nice to meet the bird lawyer, Cornelius Featherbottom. Um. Oh, you've met Cornelius oh, yeah. at it's, your dad's is, holiday parties. Oh, mm-hmm. right. This this is uh, the family friend, really. Mm-hmm. Oh, by the way, those birds that you were talking about are called oxpeckers. Mm-hmm. The, the good friends. Yes. Mm-hmm. Thank you. And with that, your father turns to leave. I, I kind of give him an awkward wave. I, I was... Ex- Koyos and uh, both I and Koyos were expecting this to go 
much differently. But it's good to know that he's not angry. Uh, Oi shouts after him, stay out of the sewers. Those aren't made for gators. Don't eat anything with a collar. As you like say that, several horses and carriages are startled by this massive creature taking up the entire street as it walks to leave. Like (laughs) trundling slow. Mm -hmm. I I give him a a wave as as my father leaves and I'm just like, I'll visit sometime. I look to Dodger and say, well, I mean, I, I, I think that might solve the problem so I can get this removed. And he shows the palm of his hand very open so that everyone can see it. And this information is shared with everyone. Yay. Yeah. So that everyone knows. And, uh, or, but then he also says, well, I mean, I guess that solves the problem, but you know, I mean, I, I was hoping to kill a cool beast. I already drew up this picture in my book for nothing and uh, I'm uploading that picture right now that I drew in my uh, campaign notebook <laughs> Oi has a huge ass dick yes no he, he just has a well murder is okay sometimes okay <laughs> <laughs> who's to say when you tell this story that you can't tell it differently. Well, that's why the paper's around. And then, uh, like, the pointing to the creature underneath, it says a bear or some shit. <laughs> there was some shit. Yeah, there was a lot of shit. Yeah. Maybe we can find another monster that isn't uh, my dad, actually. If I had known Xanathar was Xanathar, I would have had your dad fight Xanathar. But you didn't. So you didn't. <laughs> but uh, alas, we'll never get a cool <laughs> kaiju fight with my dad. Yeah. <laughs> This thought crosses Kier's mind for the first time as the giant alligator trundles away. Yeah, as he turns a corner. I mean, you could run after them. Yeah, Kier. Please, please don't get this my dad like... lasered to death. No, we, I'm not. I, am... <laughs> <laughs> I think Kier is also like, I watched this thing vaporize so many people. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to let it vaporize a teddy. <laughs> My swamp father. Don't vaporize daddy. I love that board game. Don't vape daddy. <laughs> New board game from Hasbro. That is when a paper bird flies down to Dodger. Uh, Dodger uh, grabs it out of the air. Uh, while he's doing so, he's sniffing his other arm and still like making a face. <laughs> I must have missed a spot. I'm just going to assume that he can still smell it because of mm-hmm. dog nose. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's just hating it. Mm-hmm. Okay, but he's going to open it. It says good for one. Curse removal. Oh, see. Yes! And it's a sticker. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Man, gods do really work in mysterious ways. I, I've i never gotten a sticker before. Here you go, buddy. Uh, and <laughs> Dodger's going to peel it off and slap it onto uh, uh, De Oya's, uh arm. The cursed arm. <laughs> yeah, no, the hand. The, yeah, the, the, the hand. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like it, it, like it's a good job sticker. <laughs> you just you slap scratch it, it up. Smell like strawberries. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the uh, marking that had previously been on your hand has vanished, and you you just regrow a new thumb. Okay. Like instantly, it's it's a tiny bit of body horror for you. <laughs> oh. What? What? Dodgers like <laughs> awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it just came back. Yeah. Do you always do that? Oh man, I can't wait that uh, until I can do that. You can do that. Yourself? Yeah, o- always like just trying to flex it back and forth, just trying to get his like brain as used to it as possible. Because there's the battle of the vets. <laughs> uh, is it the only one without nail polish on it? Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Navinia, I meant to tell you, I was cursed by Satoshi that I couldn't play an instrument or else, like, my limbs would disappear or some crap. But it's okay, because we found Koyos' dad, and now the god of Kelimvor has gave me a free sticker to remove it. So we're good for tonight. Oh, well, Hooray. that's a lot of information. Uh, hooray. <laughs> yeah. It, it feels like my weird absentee godfather is uh, taking a more active role in my life these days. Is someone trying to start a slow clap? And that is when Satoshi has appeared from behind <laughs> the bar, <laughs> having to clap for slightly longer than expected. <laughs> oh, I think at, at this point, Kier just has the rapier. I was like, there is too much happening all at once. All he gets is bashing implement back. Oh, oh, Satoshi. Oh, <clears throat> hello, everybody. Oi. 
I see you've Hi. broken the curse. With a stick up. Yeah. Which means that you are going to be interfering in the battle tonight. Yeah. Interfering? Playing in the Battle of the Bands. Yeah. Which means that our deal is technically null and void. Deal? Mm-hmm. I made a deal that I wouldn't do anything to your party as long as Oi agreed not to mess with the Battle of the Bands. Technically, he's not messing with it, because messing with it would be to interfere with it in a way that was unoriginally planned, so he's un-messing with it by participating. Are you going to play rules lawyer with me, Davinia? I mean, I haven't got anything else to do. Are you sure there's not other people you could be? I just stare. Kira takes a step forward with uh, the the rapier. And you all know about how Kira was originally supposed to play against the band and decided that it wasn't worth it. Yeah, we made a song about it. Are you trying to tear us apart by revealing secrets? No. That's what a sword is for. It's a secret sword? Or claws. Claws also work well. No, you see, I think by the end of this, you will leave the Battle of the Bands, and abandon Purpin. No. no. Why? Mm-mm. I mean, to be fair, the curse was more concerning about, you know, that I'd, like, play an instrument and then, you know, my, like, limbs would fall off. It was going to be an interference thing, so if you tried to, like, throw a bag of sand onto the other band or lube up their instruments, it would have also activated yeah, them. Yeah. Well, that's unsporting. Yeah, I just, like, tried to see if, like, I could still, pl- what happened if I just played my loot regularly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And instead of messing with us, why don't you go to the other band and tell them to be better? This does seem more productive. And then you don't have to worry about us. We already are. Well, then why are you worried so much? Then you're really insecure about it. Yes. Not scared. It's like you have some things to work out. You don't put all of your eggs into one basket. I didn't put eggs in a basket. That's weird, because you got egg on your face. Oh! Yeah. Where did the egg come from? The basket. Oh. Kira isn't reacting to this at all, also. <laughs> still blade up. Kira didn't also- even go, oh, along with us. Nope. Uh-huh. You know, you're, you're still rather quiet, Kira. I'm just very tired. I understand. Your boss is losing faith in you can be quite affecting, can't it? Carrying so much weight all the time, well, like some pack animal. I have faith in Kier. Me too. Three. Seven. Bears. Koyos, <laughs> I know I've taught you how to count. I I know we've done this before. Uh, wait, hold on. Um, <laughs> counting on fingers. <laughs> Six. Also, if you're going to be very rude, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Fair enough. I was not invited here, but at least I came as... Who I actually am. Yes, we are what make of ourselves, aren't we? Have fun sleeping with knives pointed at your back. And he's going to walk out with that. Have fun being an asshole! I do! (laughs) And it pays me quite well. (laughs) Oh, you're too far away, can't you? Goodbye! And I shut the door. Too bad you're morally bankrupt. I high five Dodger. As soon as Satoshi is out of the bar, uh, Kira collapses in a conveniently placed chair. (sighs) One of the dogs has pushed it up. (laughs) The good boys have, have arranged the chairs. That you... Yes, they, they've come back up since your dad left. Yeah. This has been a long day. It's been a long day and I don't even think it's noon. I need a nap and a shower. Probably just shower first. Shower nap. <laughs> Wait, no. You no. don't float. Let's wrap them in a damp towel. Oh, that sounds so good. Yes. Like a spa. Ooh, the spa. Just find a nice quiet lake and just go skinny dipping. That seems more stressful. Well, no, because you don't even have to worry about, like, wearing your clothes and your clothes wearing you down. Mm, yeah. It's much easier to swim without anything on. Yeah. Um, I, I would go find a lake myself right now, but it's probably not a smart idea to leave the house alone. Because if uh, public martial <laughs> arts is getting me in trouble, public nudity <laughs> might be even worse. Yes, I think it might not have been the martial arts. More like they had intended to kidnap you anyways. Hmm. Yeah, now I see how that might be the possibility. Streaking! <laughs> I think we, if we rely on each other, we'll get through this without too much chaos. Although I do love a bit of chaos. <sighs> well, it's worked for us, sort of, so far. Yes. In the past week, we've had quite so many adventures. I've been punched a lot. I'm sorry. Would anybody like some tea? Oh, yes! God, yes. Tea dog. Start making tea. 
The aroma would be lovely. Absolutely. Are you working on making the tea all by yourself? Oh, Liv helps. No. No? Liv doesn't help? Liv? Aww. Liv? Oh, dear. You aren't seeing a response. So Hody did appear from behind the bar. Satoshi. 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 <laughs> Shit. <laughs> yes, I appeared out of character. <laughs> you appeared as and your was, friend. Yeah, and it was just like, what the shit? Oh, man, I should have never been hit by a truck. <laughs> you got isekai into uh, your own fucking cookout. This is not cookout. Reincarnated as your D&D character. <laughs> New one crunchy roll. <laughs> Inspired by a series of kind of bad light novels. <laughs> a series? There are so many. There's I read so many. So many of them. Hey, Luke, what's the name of that genre again? Isekai. Isekai. Mm-hmm. No, I, well, all right. Well, there's a running joke within the, uh, the the Exceptionals playthrough, but I'll allow it. Uh. <laughs> uh. Um, I, I think you mean Isekai Hentai Dojinshi. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh. Uh. I don't like uh. the ultimate weeb. Uh. Just like in Danganronpa style, the ultimate weeb appeared as six. Like, oh. Uh. Okay, so so <laughs> right, so uh, so Liff isn't gone. O- Oi, like nudges uh, Dodger in the shoulder, like use your use your thing to to see where Liff is. Oh, uh, let me see. Um, I'm going to in fact use my fun little thing, uh, called uh Eyes of the Grave, which lets me know the location of any undead within sixty feet of me that isn't behind total uh, cover and isn't protected by divination magic. You aren't sensing Liv. Liv's not here. Oh. They went away? Oh. Did they move on? Or did something else happen? Satoshi ate him. Probably. I'm sorry? Oh, he eats ghosts. He eats ghosts? That's scary. Probably. What do you mean, probably? Why eats ghosts? Uh, I should really look to see if they offer cleric classes like... You know, at the community center. Yeah, go down to the community center. The yeah. library! Night school! Yeah! <laughs> night school for nights. Be an adult student. Take night classes. <laughs> College is complicated these days, but really, it if you have time, when, who doesn't these days, try to find a local class that's probably streaming online, or just watch some lectures. It's scrying online. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's scrying online. Yeah, there's a scrying oh, stone. I just did learn how to scry. Broadcasting on which? Ed. Boo. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and we should probably meet up with Purbin because, like, he's probably expecting us to actually practice for this thing. Yeah, you- we should bring him back here and practice. We have practiced. We practiced together and we both got really good roles. Yeah. And I hope Luke keeps mm-hmm. that in mind. <laughs> you guys should practice more. Um, I can. That is when a knock comes at the door. Uh... I, I, I pat here on the shoulder. I prepare okay, to fucking it. dive behind the the lift bar if it's if it's who I think it is again. I have shovel in hand. <laughs> <laughs> I I open the door a little, but have my my foot braced behind. It. Well, does it open outwards or inwards? It opens inwards. Yeah, it's like a regular okay, house yeah. door. Okay, mm-hmm. so I ha- and I'm just it's like open a little bit. And my face is just peeking out. I'm like, hello. There's a paper bird flying out there. Uh, I open the door a whole bunch. It flies in and goes into your hands. Oh. And inside it is a hastily scribbled note from Perman saying, Where the hell are you guys? We gotta practice here at the bar. Oh, shit! And so next time on RPG Pals Club, we're finally getting to the Battle of the Bands. Battle of the Bands. Are we? <laughs> when are we gonna get to the fireworks factory? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Luke, your Game Master. You've been listening to RPG Pals Club at rpgpals.club. Uh, but yeah, we're available everywhere. If you enjoy this podcast, please let us know. Also, we have a Discord, we have a Twitter, leave reviews. We have a Patreon, but no one really uses that, which, you know, it is it is fine. Uh, but yeah, we also all have some other projects. I'm personally on Twitter at, at Coltrek, that's K-O-L-T-R-E-G. And if you're looking for a new show to listen to, I am the producer of the new podcast, Tales from the Outlands, which is a podcast about a D&D campaign I'm in with 17 other players 
plus our dungeon master. So it's the dungeon master, one of the other players, and then me as the producer in a much more reserved personality talking about this wild campaign we're in. And I've been Eric, a.k.a. Rhythm Bastard. You can find everything I do on my website, rhythmbastard.rocks. You can also give me money by getting my music at rhythmbastard.bandcamp.com and get my new music as I release it at patreon.com slash rhythmbastard. By the time you're listening to this, I have a game that I did music for called Retromania Wrestling, available February 26th. I'm Gina Dazer. Uh, You can find me online at Twitter, if you still use it, because it's full of interesting things every day at a dazer a d a s e r or if you want to see some of the arts i'm working on i have patreon at gene underscore a dazer and you know just be good to each other watch some episodes of shinya shokudo the japanese version it's very good the ones on netflix are not the first three seasons so it's worth it to look it up it's just wholesome good slow experiences content it's just nice I'm Sam. You can find me on Twitter at frunding underscore loom. You can also hear me on the established property playhouse as Lem. We are doing a uh, Pokemon fun time campaign with our uh, game master Luke and our resident uh, crocodile Madison. Hi, I've been Sahoni, uh, also known as Gar Atkins, but you can find me on Twitter at Sahoni underscore stuff. That's S A H O N I underscore stuff, where I work as a game designer and podcaster you can catch me on my other podcast uh barking points memo which is a current events comedy podcast where we like look at the news and then we yell about it but hopefully in a funny way you can also uh, catch up with uh the progress of my almost completely done book uh exceptionals which is an rpg inspired by x-men about the spaces and communities that marginalized people made for themselves and i'm i'm basically just in the art phase right now so i'm doing a lot of art streams lately would be fun to hang out and talk with y'all. Hi, my name's Madison Rowan. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at QuipsterRecru. Everything I do will be linked over there. You can also hear me on Luke's other podcast, the Established Property Podcast, as you heard before. I play Kaz, and you can also hear me on a podcast I do with my brother called Let's Make Something, a podcast about making stories from randomly generated words. <laughs>